Well, uh, for parents who want to improve their youngster's game of hockey, and they all do, do you have any uh, general tips you can offer them? Basically, I think um, just to let the kids play for fun. It's uh, a game where they start at, you can start at a very early age, and as long as you can give them some basics and help them along with their skating and and stuff like that, they uh, I think you should emphasize fun in the game because that's you, as you get older, it, hockey gets more and more serious now, so uh, the longer you can keep fun in the game and not push the game, the, the more fun the kids will have in it. What age were you when you when you realized that you had a chance of, of going on and making a career of hockey? Was there a turning point in uh, your 18. younger hockey days? <laughs> when, I <was> drafted, <laughs> when I was drafted, no, it's it's hard to say. You uh, when you're when you're in midget, you kind of know you're going to play junior. You don't know until you make the team, and when you're in junior, you know you're. I guess after my first year junior, I knew I'd be drafted somewhere in the 12 rounds, and then after my second year junior, I knew I'd be in the first or second round somewhere. So. <laughs> It's never been, you know, it's always been, you know, every, as you progress, you know, you have a chance to get closer. Would, uh, who was your favorite team when you were a kid? If, if you could have been drafted, if you had your choice of where I you never, were drafted. I never had a choice. I just wanted to play. You just wanted to play. It didn't matter where about. I got drafted. No heroes? Who drafted me or no, no real heroes. It's what a uh, deprived childhood. <laughs> no, it's great. I didn't have to look up to anybody. I just had to go out and play and have fun and, uh, and uh, be yourself. Normie Ullman was my guy there from the Leafs. Normie Ullman. Yeah, it's, uh, what happened? Oh, I don't know. Well, it's uh, it's name association time on Sports Den. We uh, we throw out a name to you, player, past or present. You tell us whatever comes in your mind about him there. And Marty, you want to kick things off? We'll do the same thing we did with Tom Watt. We'll start out with Wayne Gretzky. Probably the greatest player uh, to play hockey to date, I guess. There'd be him and Bobby Orr that would probably step into mind as far as talent and Gordie Howe longevity and ability. But um, probably the, ba the best player with dedication and talent and team ease, he, uh, I guess, typifies a player that you'd want to be because he does more things than just be a good player. What's he like to play against? He's, like you say, he's a very smart hockey player. It's, uh, people always wonder why people aren't hitting him, but he, is, he knows when to have the puck and when not to have the puck. So you can't just hit a guy when he doesn't have the puck. He's very <laughs> smart. Yeah. And he... He leads by example in that he's always the hardest working guy on the team as well as being the most talented. He does actually back checking, which you don't see in a lot of those other players, so it's to his credit to be a complete hockey player. Um, Ally Afraidy, teammate. Uh, Ally Afraidy has uh, possibly the most ability of, of a lot of defensemen in the league. He mm -hmm. uh, is a great skater, has a great shot. He's a big man at probably 230 pounds, 6'5", or 6'4", yeah. you know, and has all that ability of a uh, a smaller, slighter, quick defenseman. So he's somebody that uh, has a lot of ability and and will uh, will show it in, a, in any given night. What about Brett Hall? Brett Hall is a, a very opportunistic person. He's got great, great hands and a great hindsight for the game and where to be at the right time. I think it's something you can't teach anybody where to be at the right time when the puck gets comes and he has it you know you you won't see much of a mall game and all of a sudden you have the score sheet has three yeah. goals you know yeah. so that's something that an ability that he has as well as being able to shoot the puck and and uh, work with his teammates very well, well he's got the genetics let's face it yeah, Bobby Hall's the old it's man it's got to be something said for genes <laughs> all right we'll move on to the tiger who you know well tiger is uh like like for 12 or 13 years like Tom was saying is was one of the most dedicated athletes and Worked very hard to to get the most out of his ability, much like I think Brad Marsh or Brad Smith that, that played for our teams. They they worked very hard when they were on the ice. They were great team guys and great leaders, and just loved the game. And the more they loved the game, the longer they stayed, and the more they rubbed off on other people. We got to ask you about a local guy That's who's right. been on <coughs> sports stands, a friend of ours. He's been on a couple of times, and uh, he's a bit of a mucker too. Uh, Chris King from the Rangers. Well, Chris King came up, I think, last year. He was up and down a little bit, and this year he's been up full time. And He's, a, he's another guy that's going to play a, a third, fourth line so far, as far as I've seen with the, the Rangers. Uh, tough guy. He's going to in and out and uh, just give the team some respect and uh, some toughness so a lot of the more finesse guys can uh, have a little more room on the ice. Gets along well with Dino Cicerelli, too, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> They've had some classic uh, Run arguments. How about Mark Messier? Mark is uh, probably the strongest player skater in the in the league. I think he uh, can skate, and you can put a hook on him, and he can go through it. He's <laughs> a he's a 
a tremendous athlete that he's so strong he can skate and you know another power a power forward I guess that has all the ability to be as well as strong and uh, solid but but to have the offensive ability to have 100 points a year when one who's one of your favorites Don Cherry <laughs> Don Cherry <laughs> well, he's a buddy of mine I can't <laughs> No, oh, we like Don too. Oh, no, he's, he's uh, very vocal. He speaks yeah. his mind and uh, and very colorful. And he has a lot of fun. And I think uh, you know he's always been a great supporter of mine. So I'm a great supporter of his. And he usually, uh, no matter what he says, when you decipher through it all, <laughs> usually is pretty close to the truth. He's got a pretty keen hockey mind, and uh, obviously you're you're his type of player. He likes the guys that can. Yeah, gotta love him. Yeah, gotta love him. That's great. The guys that can throw the checks as well as uh, scoring goals. So. Well, he's I think he coached the, the Boston Bruins back when they had the the meat and potatoes kind of yeah. players and the team, and that's the way he uh, he played and how he coached his, his hockey club. So that's the, the how he won the game, so that's what he sticks with.